Welcome back. Today, we've got some seriously exciting updates about the Internet Computer, or ICP for short. There's news that could completely reshape how we think about decentralized computing, artificial intelligence, and cryptocurrency payments. Not only is ICP pushing boundaries as the fastest blockchain in the world, but it's also setting new records across multiple areas of its ecosystem. On top of that, we're learning how customers will soon be able to pay for AI-driven computation on the internet computer network using crypto directly, something that ties together blockchain, artificial intelligence, and digital money in a way no other project is doing right now. As many of you know, the internet computer has positioned itself as the infrastructure layer for decentralized AI computation, with the ambitious mission of becoming the world's computer. It's not just about smart contracts or DeFi tokens anymore. It's about running entire applications, front ends, and artificial intelligence directly on chain. And the pace of development we're seeing here is unlike anything else in the crypto space. This video is for informational and educational purposes only. It is not financial advice. Always do your own research and consult a professional before making any investment decisions. So in this video, we're going to break down the latest records ICP has set, what's happening with the network's reorganization for global compliance, how AI integration is changing the game, and what founder Dominic Williams has recently shared about where things are headed. We'll also explore what these records mean for the ecosystem, compare ICP with competitors like Solana and Ethereum, and look ahead at what might unfold over the next few months. The first big headline is that ICP's artificial intelligence capabilities are now moving into a phase where payments can be made directly using cryptocurrency. That's a massive shift because it bridges two worlds that often seem separate, the world of blockchain finance and the world of practical AI usage. Instead of just buying and holding tokens, users will actually spend ICP to access AI services running natively on the blockchain. This is important for two reasons. First, it creates real functional demand for the token itself, not just speculative trading. Second, it introduces a payment structure that aligns directly with how the internet computer's gas system, known as Cycles, works. Customers who want to use AI apps hosted on ICP will pay in Cycles, which are generated by converting ICP tokens. In other words, every AI query or computation directly burns ICP, tying AI usage to token economics in a way that strengthens the ecosystem over time. Now let's talk about speed, because this is another area where ICP has set world records. Earlier this year, the network achieved nearly 13,000 transactions per second, TPS. That's not just fast, it's record-breaking in blockchain terms. Even today, ICP is handling around 4,000 TPS, which is still significantly higher than nearly every other major blockchain out there. For context, Solana has often been praised as one of the fastest blockchains, but ICP has now outpaced it. Meanwhile, Ethereum lags far behind, with most of its scaling dependent on Layer 2 solutions. Other blockchains are still struggling to even reach the low thousands of TPS, and many can only manage double or triple digits. Why does this matter? Because ICP isn't just aiming to be a financial ledger, it's aiming to be the backbone for global decentralized AI computing. To host and execute AI workloads in real time, you need massive throughput and reliability, and that's exactly what ICP is proving it can deliver. Speed is one thing, but let's connect this back to token economics. One of the most important metrics in the ICP ecosystem is the rate of token burning. Last week, the network burned nearly 100,000 ICP in just one week, the largest weekly burn in the project's history. Now, if you're new to ICP, here's how it works. To use the network's resources, you need cycles, basically the fuel for computation. To get cycles, ICP tokens are converted or burned. Technically, it's more of a temporary burn because those cycles can later be converted back into ICP when node providers receive their payment. But the effect is the same. Heavy network usage means lots of ICP gets burned, which directly links demand for computation with demand for the token. In other ecosystems, coin burns often mean permanent removal from circulation, which decreases supply and theoretically drives up price. With ICP, the process is a bit different, but the economic principle is similar. 
more usage equals more burning, which increases scarcity over time. What's fascinating is that this isn't the first time we've seen such spikes in burning and transaction activity. Looking back to September 2024, we saw a similar surge in activity, which coincided with the beginning of the last crypto bull cycle and heavy testing of new AI features on ICP. Now, in September 2025, we're seeing it again, only bigger. This suggests that behind the scenes, the team is either running large-scale tests or already onboarding real-world users and applications. It's difficult to know exactly what's driving these spikes because not everything is publicly announced yet. But the fact remains, network usage is climbing and we're seeing record-breaking demand for cycles. Dominic Williams himself hinted earlier this year that we should expect certain ICP metrics to increase tenfold. And sure enough, we're already seeing a 10x increase in burn rates. If that trend continues, it suggests that other metrics, like the number of applications, users, or transactions, could also skyrocket in the coming months. Dominic, the founder of ICP and chief scientist at the Definity Foundation, has been sharing his thoughts through detailed posts and long Twitter threads. One of his most striking claims is that in the coming weeks, ICP will deliver something he calls the self-writing internet, powered by Caffeine AI. According to him, this will allow ordinary users to have natural language conversations with AI, and from those conversations, the AI will generate fully functioning, decentralized applications, hosted directly on the internet computer. Think about that. You could simply describe what you want, like a wedding website, an e-commerce store, or a local community app, and the AI would build it for you on-chain. He predicts this will create an explosion of applications, potentially surpassing 1 million apps by the end of this year. Even if that number sounds ambitious, the logic is clear. AI agents can generate apps far faster than human developers. That could easily multiply the total count of blockchain applications across the entire industry. The self-writing internet is perhaps the most radical idea we've heard from ICP so far. Unlike most blockchains, which are limited to financial tokens and DeFi tools, ICP is aiming to host entire front-ends, back-ends, and AI logic directly on-chain. That means apps are not just tokenized, they are fully decentralized, censorship-resistant, and scalable. Caffeine AI, the tool at the heart of this system, will reportedly let users pay with credit cards as well as crypto, lowering the barrier for mainstream adoption. But here's the kicker. Every AI-generated app still consumes cycles, which means ICP tokens are burned in the process. So even if users don't realize they're using blockchain, the network still benefits economically. Imagine the scale of this. Billions of internet users could someday be using ICP-based apps without even knowing it. That's how you bridge the gap between niche blockchain technology and mainstream adoption. Now, how does ICP compare with other big names in the blockchain space? Let's be honest, most projects today are still heavily narrative-driven. Solana has been hyped as the Ethereum killer, but much of its activity centers around meme coins and speculation. Ethereum remains the backbone of DeFi, but struggles with speed and scalability without relying on Layer 2 solutions. Other ecosystems like Cardano, XRP, and SUI are all competing for relevance, but none of them are attempting to do what ICP is doing, namely, hosting AI, building frontends directly on-chain, and creating a decentralized global computer. In fact, some AI-focused projects like Fetch.ai have started using ICP infrastructure rather than trying to reinvent it themselves. That's a strong sign that ICP isn't just another competitor. It's the underlying layer other projects depend on. At the moment, no other blockchain is seriously trying to compete with ICP's model. Sure, many projects are exploring AI integration, but they're mostly limited to using existing infrastructure or plugging into traditional cloud services. ICP, by contrast, is building everything natively on-chain, from computation to hosting to AI. This gives it a unique advantage. While other chains battle over the same DeFi users and NFT traders, ICP is carving out its own lane, decentralized AI infrastructure. And if it succeeds, it won't just be another blockchain. It will be a foundational layer of the future internet. Looking ahead, the big question is how fast adoption will scale. 
Dominic's prediction of 1 million apps might sound exaggerated, but even a fraction of that would be groundbreaking. The real test will be whether these apps provide genuine utility and attract users outside the crypto bubble. Wall Street and institutional players are also watching closely. We've already seen how projects like Chainlink gained momentum once they connected with real-world finance. ICP could play a similar role in the AI and compute sector. And as traditional investors get more serious about blockchain, they'll gravitate toward projects with real-world utility, not just hype. So what do we make of all this? On one hand, it's easy to be skeptical. A million apps in just a few months? That sounds like wishful thinking. But on the other hand, we're already seeing concrete evidence that ICP is hitting record-breaking metrics. Transaction speeds are world-class, token burns are at all-time highs, AI integration is rolling out, and competitors are starting to rely on ICP rather than challenge it. The internet computer may not follow the same cycle as other cryptocurrencies. It's operating in its own lane, building real infrastructure for decentralized AI. Whether you're bullish or cautious, it's hard to deny that ICP is one of the most ambitious and unique projects in the blockchain space today. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Do you think ICP can really deliver on these bold promises? Will the self-writing internet revolutionize how apps are built? Or are these just lofty predictions that will take longer to play out? So, what do you think about ICP's current position? Are you bullish on its growth in AI and DeFi? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you found value in this deep dive, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more breakdowns like this. Thanks for watching. Stay curious, stay cautious, and I'll catch you in the next one.